Hello, welcome to the Trilogies from the Pharmacy. My name is Associate Professor Chui Wai Keung. I'm a faculty member of the NUS Pharmacy. Have you ever wondered what it is like to be a pharmacist or a pharmacy student? Today, we have a panel who will be sharing with you their stories. And from their stories, you should be able to find out something about what their life is all about. Let me first introduce the members to you. On my far left with Mr. Hao Tiwi. Tiwi is our alumnus from the NUS Pharmacy Department. Uh, Tiwi is currently holding the position as the country president uh, at AstraZeneca Singapore. Uh, Tiwi is also the president of the Singapore Pharmaceutical, uh, Singapore Association of Pharmaceutical Industry. And next to him, we have Professor uh, Priscilla Hao. Priscilla Hao uh, is also a faculty member from the Department of Pharmacy, and she is also running a clinic, a nephrology clinic at the NUH. At my right, uh, we have Mr. Yo Xiaojie. Xiaojie is currently in his third year of pharmacy education, and uh, Xiaojie was the president of the NUS Pharmaceutical Society, which organizes student activities. First, let me direct a question to Charles. Yeah. Why did you choose pharmacy as a choice of uh, as a course of study? Oh, so basically, I think for for me, after finishing my A levels, I wanted to pursue something that was scientific, but yet um, also had that uh, activeness in terms of helping people. So, between all the different courses, I kind of thought about pharmacy as the choice that I wanted to choose. So that's how I actually came to that. Yeah. So is the course living up to your expectations, Charles? Yeah? Yes, in terms of the, the kind of expectations you will get out of it, it being a healthcare professional course, it's very rigorous in nature. And actually, there are a lot of different uh, activities that I do that I learn, not just in clinical practice, but also in terms of learning more about the industry, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. being exposed to mm -hmm. subjects such as pharmacology or uh, microbiology. These okay. are areas which actually allows me to explore myself as, as well as my interests. Mm -hmm. And as for the rigor itself, it can be quite uh, daunting at times. Okay. But, yeah, there are a lot of lecturers actually around who are always willing to help students here in pharmacy. And I thought this is something that is very unique also in like the Department of Pharmacy. Okay. That's good. So what about uh, other pursuits? Do you have time for other pursuits like sports, society, clubs? I used to be the president of NUS Pharmaceutical Society. And with that, we actually do have lots of activities that we have mm -hmm. for students itself. Uh, some of which would be like, know your medicine, get it right. Where we actually volunteer and actually uh, interact with uh, uh, people in the neighborhood and actually mm -hmm. do some uh, health check and health screening for them as well. So these are some of the things that we do engage in. That sounds great. Mm -hmm. uh, so maybe I'll direct a question next to Tihui. I remember that when you were a student, you were also the president of the NUS Pharmaceutical Society. Did that experience uh, allow you to pick up some skill sets which are useful for the workplace? Well, why can't it was a long time ago? Um, but certainly, yes, you know, um, as Sao Che was uh, saying, for me, that is a free leadership lesson. Learning through how do you lead people not just by having a clarity of what you want to achieve, but how do you convince people to get behind you? Mm -hmm. I learned to be a better listener, so to speak, mm -hmm. you know, so understanding mm -hmm. what motivates people. And I think through that process, mm -hmm. it helps, as Sao Jen mentioned, me learn more about myself and my mm -hmm. leadership style mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. So Tiwi, you are practicing in the pharmaceutical industry. Mm -hmm. Can you share with us how did you get into that industry uh, and where did you start? Mm. Well, I must say that I got into the industry by accident um, in, in many ways. So I did my pre-reg uh, training in NUH um, mm -hmm. right after I graduated. And then after that, I went on to a you know, very uh, different career track by going into FMCG marketing. So I was in FMCG marketing for a number of years um, and then stumbled upon the pharmaceutical industry. So most people start in the pharmaceutical industry as a sales rep because of a number of years of experience in marketing and FMCG, um, I went into the pharmaceutical industry in the marketing track. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. I see. Um, when we talk about the pharmaceutical industry, we often think about um, the pharmaceutical product or the medical devices and not about the patient. Yeah. Uh, is that true? You know, it's funny, I, I get that question a lot um, and my 
refrain is usually, well, who do you think we make medicines for, mm -hmm. right? So right. Um, it's for the patient. And, you know, for AstraZeneca, for example, our mission, you know, our, our purpose is to push the boundaries of science to deliver life-changing medicine. So it's about delivering the medicine to the patients. I think the only difference is where we deliver the medicine. I think mm -hmm. for mm -hmm. pharmaceutical industry, we are a little bit more upstream. Right. We do R&D for the medicine. We um, manufacture the medicine. We bring them in. I think, you know, then pharmacists on the front line dispense that um, to the patients. So for, for me, we are all an integrated part mm -hmm. in serving the mm -hmm. patients. It's just that we do it at different levels. Right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So TV, you're still a registered pharmacist. So do the pharmaceutical industry uh, find a pharmacist working in the industry of value? And if so, what, what is it? Well, I certainly hope so because uh, I'm working <laughs> in the industry. Um, and I do believe uh, pharmacists do bring a few um, unique qualities. Right? I think one is, first of all, the scientific foundation. At the end of the day, we are um, talking about medicines, right? So the strong foundation of science that pharmacies Pharmacists and pharmaceutical students have um, brings a lot of value. You know, it takes you know very short time for them to ramp up on the knowledge. But the other aspect is also the diversity of experience that they bring, mm -hmm. right? Because in the pharmacy course, it's not just about the science. You know, we teach the students about you know how do you um, within the lab, you know, understand the scientific approach, you know, and the how you ask questions within the science itself. So that's a hard skill. But during the course itself, the pharmacy students have to interact with patients. So they learn the soft skills, right? Mm -hmm. So beyond the science itself, um, pharmacists brings a very interesting mix of both the hard and soft skills. Can you share with us uh, a particular incident that uh, make you really find that it's really fulfilling working in the pharmaceutical industry as a pharmacist? Yeah. One specific example of activities that we do is patient support programs or patient access programs whereby we you know, help mean test patients and, and where patients cannot afford, how do we provide additional support? And I do recall one specific incident where we supported a, you know, a cancer patient uh, for quite a while mm -hmm. in support of the patient's medicine. And um, unfortunately, after a while, the patient passed on. Mm -hmm. But then the family wrote a letter back to us and said, you know, mm -hmm. thank you very much for supporting my parent, um, for being able to avail of the medicine for a period of time. Mm -hmm. And because of the treatment that he got, you know, he was able to spend valuable time with the family. Mm -hmm. And so it really brings to heart what it means to be able to have a life-changing medicine for the patients. And I think that brings meaning to what we do every day. I see. Let's take to, go to Priscilla. So can you share with us your journey from a pharmacy graduate to where you are now? Well, I have to think back quite a few years as well. Um, after graduating from NUS Pharmacy, um, I worked in Tan Tok Singh Hospital for a short period of time. I did my pre-registration training there uh, where I was an outpatient pharmacist and I also uh, managed the anti-coagulation clinic. Um, I had always had the interest of wanting to do some type of a postgraduate mm -hmm. studies, um, but deep down in my heart, I knew that I still um, wanted to keep that patient care uh, in, in my career. Mm -hmm. And I also had um, a liking to teach uh, students. Mm -hmm. uh, so I embarked on um, a degree course in the, in the US. Mm -hmm. I did my doctor of pharmacy degree mm -hmm. in Chicago. Mm -hmm. I, I spent a good um, almost eight years right. there. I did uh, further training, residency, as well as fellowship training um, before coming back to the university, uh, my alumnus um, about 10 years ago and I, I um, joined as a faculty member and also had the opportunity to work alongside the doctors at the National University Hospital mm -hmm. where I now uh, run uh, three uh, clinics mm -hmm. uh, together mm -hmm. with the physicians. Mm -hmm. I think um, uh, there is a, a misconception, if, if I may say, uh, that the individuals that we see at the counter of the, of the pharmacies, um, that's, that's all that a pharmacist do. Um, however, in the past, I would say 10 years, there has been a great paradigm shift in the roles of a pharmacist, and we have really moved from a traditional role of just dispensing medications, mm -hmm. counting pills, and sticking labels mm -hmm. you know, on packages, um, to more 
contemporary roles mm. um, like working alongside with doctors in right. running clinics. Right. We participate in clinical rounds uh, with, together with the medical teams in the hospitals. Um, and pharmacists are also more and more involved in uh, you know, the role of automation, mm. the use of technology, creating right. apps, mm. using telemedicine to, to mm. remotely mm. Uh, monitor patients' health and so on. Mm -hmm. What about this uh, national collaborative uh, uh, prescribing program? Uh, I understand that you're leading that now, so can you share with us what this is all about? Oh, sure, I'll be happy to. Uh, I am the pharmacy lead for the National Collaborative Prescribing Program, uh, and I uh, lead this program together with a group of physicians and a group of nurses. Mm -hmm. And the reason why we set up this program was that there is an increase in the recognition uh, for the mm -hmm. need for experienced mm -hmm. pharmacists and nurses mm -hmm. to take on the role of an, uh, a physician extender. Uh, so that we would be able to fill in some of the, the roles and the responsibilities of a physician uh, and in doing so be able to free up the doctors right. to do other work. Oh, so this sounds like really another example of role expansion oh, for pharmacists. Absolutely, right. yes. Uh, what about advice for or to share with some of the young graduates? What career progression can they expect? I think the three key uh, um, areas in which they can focus in uh, would be uh, clinical, clinical work, um, maybe into research, mm -hmm. uh, clinical research, uh, as well as uh, administrative. So many uh, interviewers uh, will have a chance to now consider what causes to take uh, uh, in NUS, for example. So if you were to give one piece of advice for prospective pharmacy students, mm -hmm. uh, what would that be? Shaotia, you want to start first? Okay, I think uh, what's important is to have the passion to serve and also having that, um, I think, keen interest, the curiosity for the sciences as well. So these two, I would mm -hmm. say. Will be Thank the you. Um, what about Tiwi? Well, I would say, you know, keep an open mind, right? Yeah. Because as, uh, you know, many of us uh, have, have, have talked about, the um, opportunities are actually very varied. Thank you. Uh, Priscilla? Well, as for me, a personal motto that I live by uh, is never say never. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I had never expected myself to pursue a uh, further a degree, uh, to be able to come back to the university to teach students. Um, but I think dreams can definitely be uh, fulfilled. Thank you, Priscilla. There you have it. True accounts of three stories from three different people who have chosen pharmacy and how it has impacted their lives. What about yourself? You're now at the crossroads and you're thinking about which road to take. So if pharmacy is a choice of study, we hope to see you in class very shortly. From NUS Pharmacy, which is the only pharmacy education provider in Singapore for the past 115 years.